he sees stand up as art like purely and and that's totally fine unless you want to get paid to do comedy yeah. and then it people don't want to like work with you if you look like you just came out like out of the trash unless you, know? you are so good that it doesn't matter mm -hmm. which most trash looking people are not you kind of have to get to that spot first before yeah. you can have that luxury i think i mean mark zuckerberg is like an exception or whatever like they're they're these guys that are like like super successful that don't dress up but well i think we're just critiquing the physique of men we know yeah that's uh, what this episode is yeah apparently man, you're about. really taking it in that direction yes. <laughs> it's like let's not let's because i've oof, i put on i put on my winter coat have you oh yeah a little bit yeah i feel like i've been eating a lot of ribeyes really like, like a pound ribeye in one sitting and uh that's a lot of red meat dude i went for a run after doing that the same day mm. No. I didn't even think about it. I ate the ribeye for lunch. I went for a run and it literally, I was running. I felt like a, pre like I was pregnant. Like, have you ever felt pregnant before? No. What happens when you eat that much red meat? Like what is, I don't know the, there's all these like inside like rules of thumb with red meat that I don't know. Rules of thumb with meat. Well, I was, <laughs> I was had dinner with somebody and they're like, yeah, I can't eat red meat after x amount like this time at night well i mean it's everybody's body's different but like yeah man we're not supposed to just eat that much just flesh in one go i mean some people can but it depends on like what your body is accustomed to diet wise what happens so like what i'm not I, is it I'm not why is it because it's a red like what makes it different well i think it's a lot of uh protein a lot of hormones uh to break down and your body wants like grains and some sort of vegetation in the mix as well and if you just go here is one entire pound of <laughs> dead flesh isn't that what the carnivore diet is though yeah but you have to ease into that and also the carnivore diet like a handful of people do it but I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. But all, dude, there is like 8 billion of us and people are like, this is what the human body is supposed to do. You're like, do you know how evolution works? Like we just adapt to what we do for long enough. Yeah. We're, you're just haphazardly doing this. People have been eating a lot more fruit lately. Fruit is good. Like for a long time I was like, <laughs> I, I fucking stopped eating fruit, you know, cause it has sugar, yeah, like so much sugar. sugar, but there's so much fiber in it that like, I think those two kind of, balance each other out like but i i fucking thought like oh you shouldn't eat fruit that's just gonna like be like excess carbs but it's the fiber like i read i don't know i you read one you have an idea you google it and it starts supporting your theory on yeah, diet the problem with the internet is that you can find anything to justify anything you think or the opposite. You're like, oh, I'm going to think this way. And you're like, I should look up the opposite. And the opposite's like, no, this is the reality. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no, I guess <laughs> fruit isn't good. Back to the San Francisco comedy. comedy. I'm not done talking yeah. about Burunji's abs. <laughs> They're so bumpy. <laughs> yeah, man, you're taking this in weird directions. Let's do it. I think this happened yesterday with Emmett, too. It just fucking it's guys with beards they just i get i get lost in you um <laughs> lost in me talking about other men <laughs> wait is it true i've been told this like three times now is there poo in beards uh, dude is this a I internet was, thing it's uh i was just thinking about how annoying that was it was like five or six years ago when some article showed up and then everybody on Facebook is just like tagging me in it. Just being like, turns out beards have poop particles in them. And I'm like, yeah. Why did you say that? Like John loved it. Oh, is that how yeah, he yeah. sounds? <laughs> poop particles. Cause it's a child. It's stupid. Cause it poops everywhere. This is just the grossest place to have feces. Yeah. No, that's poop. Like you go into a bathroom, you take a, you take a, a hefty dump, a healthy dump. Yeah. Or an unhealthy one. How was that? How was that? That BM after that pound of ribeye and that jog? It was like a, it's, I'm still dealing with it. Oh, it was, it was yesterday? Friday. Friday. Yeah. I'm still like, it's been waves. I fucking. Maybe eat some, uh, maybe eat some shrubbery and get a little lettuce in your body to help, uh, just kind of 
to brush out the sides. Is, is that Google that? See if that'll help. <laughs> no, I don't need to. Uh, that's just a fact. Is that if you eat some sort of le- like some sort of vegetables, it'll help you poop. You talk yeah. about fiber and fruit. You're yeah, like, yeah. Other. I don't understand fiber at all. There's yeah, I don't know soluble either. and insoluble fiber. I know there's one that's good and like one that will push stuff through and one will, will bind. And like if you have too much of one, it'll just be straight diarrhea. And then if you have too much of another, you're not going to shit for days. So you got to find that sweet, sweet spot to get that, that smooth dookie drop. If anybody knows what like what fiber actually is, comment in the the episode here. Who know? Do you do you have a fiber hookup? Who who here is a fiber scientist? 